Book One, Lesson One. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. My favorite food. My name is Mary, and my favorite food is pizza. I like pizza because it is healthy and delicious. I eat pizza with my family on Friday nights at home. Lesson two. Part two. Listen to the recorded text, and fill in the missing information below. Hello, my name is Alice. I live in London. My birthday is on June twenty-fifth. My favorite sport is tennis. In my free time, I like to read books. My favorite month is October. Lesson three. Part one. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. A walk in the park. My name is Eva. Sometimes, on Saturday mornings. At around nine o'clock, I go for a walk in the park. I like going there because the air is very fresh, and I can get some exercise. Lesson four. Part two. Listen to the recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Evelyn. My hobby is painting. The thing I like best about my hobby is that it is very relaxing. Things that I need for my hobby are paper and paints. I think a hobby. That looks dangerous is bungee jumping. Lesson five, part one. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. Rainy days. My name is Ethan, and I love rainy days. Many people don't like rain because they get wet. But if 
you have a good rain jacket and are warm enough, it can be fun to walk in the rain. I often walk in the forest early in the morning with my dog Rex when it is raining. He chases sticks that I throw. Lesson 6 Part 2 Listen to the recorded text and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Owen and I like board games. I also really enjoy doing jigsaw puzzles and I think Watching sports is awesome. I would like to play soccer more often. Lesson 7 Part 1 Listen to the following recorded text and then Answer the questions below. Doing volunteer work. My name is Peter. And something I like doing in my free time is volunteer work. This is a kind of work that you don't get paid for. However, it is very satisfying because when you do it, you are helping people in your community. For example, you might help an elderly person do their shopping or shovel snow off of their driveway. During the week, I go to school, so I do my volunteer work mostly on weekend mornings. Lesson 8 Part 2 Listen to the recorded text and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Annabelle. Today it is sunny, but I like snow. I also think strong Wind is exciting and rain is okay sometimes. A place I have visited with good weather is Victoria, Canada. Lesson 9 Part 1 Listen 
to the following recorded text and then answer the questions below. Making new friends. My name is Ella and I want to talk about making new friends. For many people, it is difficult to talk to people who they don't know well because they feel shy or may be worried that the other person won't want to talk to them. However, if you ask someone about themselves or about a topic such as the weather, they are usually happy to talk. I used to be shy, but now I can talk to people anytime and any place. Lesson 10 Part 2 Listen to the recorded text and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Mary and I think the most important thing about friends is understanding. I often talk about problems with my friends. I also talk about the weather with my friends. I believe that a real friend never lies to you and always listens to you. Lesson 11 Part 1 Listen to the following recorded text and then answer the questions below. School My name is Callie and I like school very much. My favorite subject is math, but I also like learning new words. The school I go to is about three kilometers from my home, so I need to leave by eight in the morning to get to school on time at 
eight forty five. Lesson twelve. Part two. Listen to the recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is James. I find. Reading difficult, and I need help with spelling. I want to get better at reading, but doing homework makes me nervous. Sometimes it. Is hard to understand what the teacher says, but someone who has helped me is my friend Charles. Lesson thirteen. Part One. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. A special person. My name is Liam. And I want to tell you about a special person. This person is my older sister. She is special because she is very. Kind and helpful to me. For example, if I have a problem doing my homework, I can always ask her, and she explains it very. Patiently. Sometimes, on the weekend, we ride our bikes or go to a movie together. Lesson fourteen. Part two. Listen. To the recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Simon, and I find writing really fun. I like to help. Others with writing. I feel good when I help someone. I think math is interesting, but art is my best subject. Lesson fifteen. Part one. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. 
Eating Vegetables. My name is Colette. When I was younger, I ate a lot of candy. However, now my favorite type of food is vegetables because they are healthy and delicious. I really enjoy munching on carrots, cucumbers, celery, radishes, and many others. I eat them at my desk at school during lunchtime, in salads at dinner time, and sometimes even for dessert. Lesson sixteen. Part two. Listen to the recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Alice. And on the weekends, I often play outside with my friends. Sometimes I go hiking with my family. When I don't have homework. I like to read a book. Sometimes I visit my grandmother on the weekend, and she makes waffles for me. Lesson seventeen. Part one. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. My pet. My name is Norman, and. I want to tell you about my pet. I have a dog named Alex. He is a black lab. He is very friendly, and. It is a lot of fun to take him for walks. He makes meeting new people much easier because many people stop to pet him and. Ask questions about him. I take him for walks three times a day around our neighborhood. Lesson eighteen, part two. Listen to the 
recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Billy. I help my mom work in the yard, and I help my dad cook. I clean my room every week, and I clean. The yard outside. I also wipe the table. Lesson nineteen. Part one. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer. The questions below. Wild animals in my neighborhood. My name is Juliana, and I want to talk about wild animals in my. Neighborhood. Sometimes, when I look out the window into my backyard, I see animals such as deer, rabbits, owls, river otters, and raccoons. I usually see them in the morning, but they can appear at any time of the day. I like seeing different wild animals because it makes me. Feel closer to nature. Lesson twenty. Part two. Listen to the following recorded text, and then fill in. The missing information below. My name is Carrie. In the future, I want to be a doctor, and I also want to try. Bungee jumping. One of my goals is to get better at math. Some day, I will visit Asia. I think, in the future, many people will drive. Flying cars. Lesson twenty one. Part one. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. Walking. My name is Melissa, and I want to talk about walking. Although it takes 
over thirty minutes for me to walk to my school. I do it every day because it is good for me and the planet. Of course, everybody feels tired in the morning, but after walking to school, I feel much. More awake and ready to study, and walking to school doesn't produce any pollution like cars do. My whole family tries to walk places whenever. Possible. On weekends, we sometimes even walk to the supermarket to buy groceries. Lesson twenty-two, part two. Listen to the following. Recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Sunny, and I used to play with toy cars when I was younger. Something. I miss about the past is taking naps in the afternoon. So I wish I could travel back five years. Now I can ride a bicycle, but. I couldn't two years ago. Lesson twenty-three, Part One. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. Stormy weather. My name is Dan, and I want to talk about stormy weather. Many people don't like it when it is very windy and rainy outside. However, days like this are a great opportunity to do things indoors. For example, you can curl up on the couch with a blanket and a good. Book. Hot chocolate goes very well in this situation too. And if you are brave enough, a walk can actually be fun on stormy days. Sometimes. My sister and I put on our rain gear and walk to the park when it is stormy out.
Lesson twenty four. Part two. Listen to the following recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Penny, and these days I often play the piano. I also read books every day. Sometimes I watch sports. My favorite sport is tennis. After dinner, I usually do my homework. Lesson twenty five, part one. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. Levidromes. My name is Liam, and I want. To talk about levidromes, this sounds like a big word, but it is a lot of fun. Levidromes are words that spell different words backwards. For example, stop is pots backwards, and wolf is flow backwards. Even my name, Liam, is a levidrome. If you spell My name, backwards, it is male. If you look in a dictionary, you may not find this word because it is very new. It was made by a young boy. Named Levi Bud, in Victoria, Canada. Hopefully, it will be in all dictionaries in the near future. Lesson twenty-six, part. Two. Listen to the following recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Vaughn. I am taller than Sam. But shorter than Richard. I live closer to school than Anita, but farther from school than Terry. I get up earlier than Bill. But later than Jake. Lesson twenty-seven, Part One. Listen to 
the following recorded text and then answer the questions below. Geocaching. My name is Bella, and I want to talk about geocaching. Some of you may not know what geocaching is, so I will tell you. Geocaching is a kind of treasure hunting. All you really need to get started is a GPS, Global Positioning System. These are available on most cell phones. Then, on the internet, go to geocaching.com. This website tells where geocaches are hidden all over the world. Looking for geocaches is so much fun because they can be hidden anywhere. Geocaching is done mostly during the day, but there are some special night caches that glow in the dark. Some geocaches are smaller than the tip of your finger, while others are the size of a large box. Some are very easy to find, while others are very difficult. Sometimes there are little toys inside of geocaches, but if you take one, you must leave something behind such as another toy or some coins. Try geocaching. I'm sure you'll love it. Lesson 28 Part 2 Listen to the following recorded text and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Gina. My friend Angie and I are both five feet tall. My friend Tyler and I are both 10 years old. My brother Micah and I both have our birthdays in June. My friend Shelley and I both have older sisters. And Finally, my friend Jim and I have black hair.
Lesson Twenty Nine, Part One. Listen to the following recorded text, and then answer the questions below. Beachcombing. My name is Tara, and I want to tell you about beachcombing. This activity doesn't require any special equipment, except maybe a good pair of. Shoes. Beachcombing is done on rocky beaches at any time of the year. You simply go to the beach and search for cool stuff, such as pretty rocks, shells, and driftwood. If you are really lucky, you may even find some agates, a kind of stone used to make jewelry, especially in the fall and winter. I like beachcombing with my family on. The weekend. Sometimes I bring a friend too. Beachcombing is one of my favorite hobbies. Lesson thirty. Part two. Listen. To the following recorded text, and then fill in the missing information below. My name is Violet, and I really enjoy dancing. I also think math is fun. And science is difficult, but I like it. I like talking with my friends and traveling with my family. I like learning new languages, but I'm not very good. At it.